Every day is sweater weather when you're Stuart Alexander Lehman Brown. What I'm trying to say is I like wearing sweaters. Does this count as a sweater or is this a sweatshirt? All right. You're supposed to tune down a full step and you're supposed to play a bunch of bar chords and you're supposed to be two guitar players to play this song. But guess what? I am one guitar player. I refuse to tune down and look. I don't mean to brag, I'm actually pretty good at bar chords. In fact, I've made a whole video course about playing bar chords. It's a very good time, it's full of ticks and trips, and you can find it at marinmusic.com for free. There. But what I actually wanted to say is we're gonna do it with no bar chords, no tuning down, but you do need a capo, guys. Capo on the third fret. If you don't have a capo, you can do a makeshift capo. It'll be fine. Just get a capo. They're so easy. They're not, they're like, they're not, this one's like 23 bucks or whatever. So that's like not cheap, but in the grand scheme of things, I would say it is not exorbitantly expensive. Never learned how to say that word. Exorbitant, exorbitantly, exorbitant. It could be any of those. All right, guys. What you're gonna do, we're also, we're gonna play like an amalgamation of two guitar parts morphed into one. Um, it's gonna be really fun. So the first thing you need to do is put your cape on the third fret, be in standard tuning, and then you're gonna play a C major seven chord. Ring finger, third fret, second string from the top. Middle finger, second fret, third string from the top. Mute the top string with your thumb, or if you really want, I suppose you can use your pointer finger to mute the top string, but then you'll look like a dork. Use your thumb and you look cool. Guys, the bottom strings are all open. Just do one big old slow strum of this chord like this. I have a little bit of reverb and delay, which just makes it sound a little cooler. I'm going one, two, three, four. Then I'm gonna totally get rid of that chord. I'm gonna go way up the neck up here. Now here's the deal. Because the capo's on three, we should call this the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. We should call this the tenth fret. But my brain doesn't work that way. I see the two dots right here, and I immediately think twelfth fret. So when we're talking about the frets up here, I'm going to pretend there's no capo, and I'm going to go ahead and call it the actual fret. So I'm going to say you put your ring finger on the thirteenth fret of the third string from the top. Okay? Does that make sense? Ring finger, 13th fret, third string from the top. Middle finger, 12th fret, third string from the bottom. Pointer finger, 11th fret on the second string from the bottom. What you're gonna do is you're not gonna play the top string, you're gonna play the second string from the top and the third string from the top together. Like that. Fantastic, guys. So you play those together, then you're gonna play third string from the bottom, and then second string from the bottom, and then back to third string from the bottom. So that was. Let's go ahead and practice going from the C major seven up to this crazy thing. One, two, nice and slow. And one, two, three, four, boom, bing, bang, bong. You did great. Let's do it one more time. This, this, honestly, this might be the hardest part of the song. One, two, karate chop, Rochambeau, C. Three, here we go. And a boom, boom, bang, bong. Fantastic. All right. Moving to another chord. You're going to play the 10th fret on the second string from the top. Once again, and not to harp on a dead horse, but it should, we should call this like the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I should call this the seventh fret because it's the seventh fret from the capo. But who's with me? This looks like the 10th fret, regardless of where the capo is. So 10th fret, second string from the top. Put your ring finger on the 12th fret of the third string from the top. And then put your middle finger on the 11th fret of the second string from the bottom. You're going to play second string from the top, then third string from the top, then the second string from the bottom, and then you go back to the third string from the top. So right after we went blong, bling, blang, blong, bong. Now, did you notice when I switched from this weird chord to this weird chord? Well, two things. One, my ring finger got to just glide along the same string. So I didn't have to lift up my ring finger. I just had to slide it over. 
The other thing I did though, is I didn't feel the need to get all three fingers in place right away. I just focused on getting my pointer finger to the right spot, and then my middle finger joined in when it had the chance. Look. Pointer, and now my middle finger. Do you see what I'm saying? My, When you're playing a chord like one note at a time, you don't have to have every finger in place from the very beginning. Just get the first note and worry about the other notes as you get to them. Fantastic. We only have one more little thing to learn for the verse to the song, you guys. We're learning the verse right now. There's no intro to the song. Well, there is an intro. The intro is just the drums going boo, catch, boo, catch, boo, catch, boo, catch, boo, catch, boo. So the last little thing we have to do is you're gonna play 13 on the second string from the top with your pointer finger. And then using your ring finger, we're gonna play some harmonics. Here's what this means. You're gonna have your ring finger touch the bottom three strings right at the 15th fret. Make sure you're not like in the middle of the fret like that. You wanna go right over the actual metal part, see, like that. And you don't wanna push at all. You just wanna barely touch each of those bottom three strings. The less you touch them, the better. Then move your pick back this way a little bit so you're sort of like back by the bridge of the guitar and you're just very lightly gonna play each string, starting from the bottom, then second from the bottom, then third from the bottom. As soon as you play those three notes, get your finger off of the string and the notes will continue. Getting those harmonics just right is a little bit tricky. I think you can do it. It works on acoustic. If you're playing the song on acoustic, it still works. You might have to stretch your finger up a little bit more because the body of the guitar might get in the way, but you can do it here. I'll prove it to you. I'll prove it to you. I'm, a, I'm good at proving things to people. Look, look. Uh, oh, I can't because the cape. Okay, gotta put the capo for the harmonics to work. You need to have a capo on the third fret. Otherwise, the harmonics are in different places. There's a whole thing about physics and stuff you wouldn't understand. So you go. See, I have to kind of stretch my hand all weird. But I can still do it. Great. That was really good. I'm really glad I brought out the acoustic guitar for that thing. All right, guys, let's go ahead and try just that part. We're just gonna go. Play it with me and here we go. And boom. Well, I get an F, you get a C minus. One, two, here we go. And boom. One more time. Great, let's play that whole, that's the riff. That is the riff for the verse. Let's play it all the way through. One, two, start with the C major seven, two, three, four, and boom. Great. So for the verse of the song, you want to do that four times in a row. You can do that. Here's the thing though. Are you trying to sing and play this at the same time? Because I think you can do it but it might be difficult. So if you don't wanna play this, all this crazy stuff and sing at the same time, I'll show you just the basic chords you can play instead. The basic chords are the C major seven, fantastic. Then an A minor seven. Here's how you get from the C major seven to the A minor seven. You get rid of your ring finger and add your pointer finger to the first fret of the second string from the bottom. So now we've got C major seven, two, three, four, A minor seven. Then we're gonna go to E minor. For E minor, it's top string open, middle finger, second fret, second string from the top, ring finger, second fret, third string from the top. You play that. And then we're gonna go to a G. What do I do here? Do you know what I think I do, guys? Yeah, what I do, I don't know what I, no, I do know what I do. For the G chord, you do middle finger, third fret, top string, pointer finger, second fret, second string from the top, ring finger and pinky are gonna do the third fret on the bottom two strings. There's our G chord. Guys, let's go ahead and play those four chords in a row. C major seven, A minor seven, E minor, G. We're gonna hold out each chord for four beats, and hey, why don't we go ahead and do it twice in a row? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Do it again. Here we go. And run. So for the verse, you either just play those chords four times in a row or you play the riff four times in a row. It's completely up to you. What you could do, just to, if you wanted to make it your own, you could do the riff like once as an intro and then start the verse and do the chords, great? Then we get to the pre-chorus of the song. The pre-chorus is those exact same four chords that we just did, except instead of strumming and holding out, what we're gonna do is strum each chord eight times kind of fast. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one time. I'm just strumming down on each one. And that's all the pre-chorus is. Then we get to the chorus of the song. The chorus is just the same four chords and you're just gonna strum each chord once. I like to do a big dramatic strum. I go one, two, three, four, one. And that's all the choruses, guys. You just play through the chords doing one strum each. Fantastic, amazing, fantastic, spectacular. Then we get to the second verse. Second verse is exactly the same as the first verse. It's just half as long. That's the only thing. You just you only play it twice instead of playing it four times. Then we get to the pre-chorus, which is exactly the same as the first time we played the pre-chorus. Then we get to the chorus. The chorus is exactly the same, except you're gonna play it twice as long. You're gonna play through the chords twice instead of just playing through the chords once. Great. Then we make it to the bridge. We're just cruising on through this thing. When you get to the, so after you play through the second chorus, you play through it both times, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna play a D note. That's the third string from the top open, and you're gonna hold it out for four beats. You go one, two, three, four. Then we get to the the actual like bridge bridge of the song where the whole rhythm and everything switches. We go like this. We go. Here's what's happening here. I'm playing three chords. A minor, not to be confused with the A minor seven chord we did before. Uh, what you're gonna do is it's gonna be top string muted with your thumb, second string from the top is open, middle finger, second fret on the third string from the top, ring finger, second fret, third string from the bottom, pointer finger, first fret, second string from the bottom. Classic A minor chord. You're gonna strum down, down, up, down, up. We've got a little bit of a swing shuffle feel of the song now, so instead of just going ba, ba, ga, ba, ga, ba, ba, we're going ba, 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 ga, ba, ga, ba. Practice that with me a couple times. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. It's a little bit cowboy y. Cowboy time. Decided to sing cowboy time. All right. So we do that strumming pattern once on the A minor. Then we do that strumming pattern once on the G. We already learned the G for the verse to the song. Then we're going to do the strumming pattern twice on a D. D is middle finger, second fret, bottom string, ring finger, third fret, second string from the bottom, pointer finger, second fret, third string from the bottom. Keep the top string muted with your thumb. One. Again, two, three, four. I have a little trick for you guys. When you're switching from the G to the D, you don't move your ring finger. Your ring finger stays in the exact same spot. Pretty spectacular, right? Let's. So you're supposed to do this chord progression, A minor, G, D, D, eight times in a row. Ocho, that's Spanish for eight. I'm surprised you didn't know that. Let's just do it four times right now, because eight would take such a ridiculously long time. One, two, here we go. And down, down, whoop, up, down, up, G, down, oh, up, down, up, D. How you doing, guy? Oh, someone's calling me and it messed up the video. I'm so mad I could eat a stick for brunch. Uh, that was enough practice of that part. So you're supposed to do that eight times in a row. 
Then we get to the third chorus. The third chorus of the song is the same chords as the previous two choruses, but we're gonna change the strumming. Instead of just going one, two, three, four, one, two, like that. Do you hear all that noise outside? It's, there's minor construction going on outside. That's not construction, it's called mowing a lawn. Can I tell you something though? I know this song was like mega popular a few years ago. I like somehow never heard it until like six months ago. So what I'm trying to say is, I don't have any strong feelings about this song. So we're just gonna ignore the minor construction outside and keep learning the song. I don't know. So uh, the same chords as the other choruses, C major seven, A minor seven, E minor and G, but we're gonna do that cowboy strumming pattern that we just learned for the bridge. Let's practice, let's do it. We're supposed to do it, I don't know, probably a couple times in a row. Let's go ahead and do it twice in a row right now so you can just figure out what I'm talking about. One, two, chorus time and down, down, whoop, up, down, up, D minor, seven, whoop, up, down, up, D minor, then G, one more time. Brings us to the ending of the song. The ending of the song is just one big strum of C my major seven, and then one big strum of A minor seven, and then one big strum of E minor seven, and then one big strum of G. And that's all there is to it. The fine folks at, oh, I don't know the name of the band. It's not The Weeknd. The Neighborhood, just Neighborhood? The Nibber, they abbreviate it, right? Nib nibber, Neighborhood. This is by Neverhood. Sweater weather. Okay. You know what? It says it all right there. Sweater weather. Don't tune down. No bar. Capo 3. People of the world, friends and relatives, it's been such a joyous occasion. This has been the greatest day of my life. 